everybody and welcome back to the round two for you YouTube channel. We're doing our next product spotlight. This is for June 2023 and we've got new stuff in all of our lines to show you guys. So in 164 scale we're going to show you four new releases for Johnny Lightning. We also have a new release for Auto World True 164. In the larger scale die cast there's going to be four 118 scale Auto World cars as well as some new die cast bikes and a 125th scale offering as well. For slot cars in HO scale under Auto World, we're going to show you a new import heat release for those and then some new accessories. And we're going to round it all out showing you guys model kits. So six new model kits, including one all new tool uh, that we're going to be showing off. So we're going to jump right into it. We're going to start with the 164th. So jumping into Johnny Lightning, we're going to start with some really cool pop culture cars that we're working on. First one being our diorama series. What we've got here, uh, we did two cars in this diorama series with our new monkeys license. So we've been bringing the monkeys back. We brought it back in 118 scale. We brought it back as a model kit. And this is in Johnny Lightning 164. So for this diorama series, we've got two cars in this. It's based on an actual episode of the monkeys called Leave the Driving to Us, where they race against Baron Von Klutz in a, in a race uh, through the town. Really fun episode you can catch on YouTube. So the first car, of course, being the monkey mobile the crazy GTO uh, convertible built by Dean Jeffries. A lot of great detailing on this. You've got some gold on that silver engine there, which looks awesome. Of course, the white interior, white top on the side, white letter tires, and that monkey, uh, monkey logo on the side of it. So a great replica of that famous monkey mobile. But another equally interesting car is the Klutz Mobile. So this is based on the Shelby Daytona Coupe. This was driven by Baron Von Klutz in the episode. He tried all these fun uh, fun things to mess up the monkeys or crash their car. Um, and the car that was used for filming was an actual Shelby Daytona Coupe. Uh, one of, I believe that's six that were made. And the car that was utilized, we actually also replicated as a barn find car, uh, was the exact same car in that episode. So we've done a barn find version, the version which is now at, the, at a museum, and this is when it was done up for the episode of the monkey. So a really interesting history on that Daytona Coupe and a super fun release for our diorama series. Sticking with pop culture for the next release, we do have a six car set of uh, pop culture coming up. So just the six cars in this, only one color variations in our pop culture series. Starting with our 007 license, we've got the 1987 Aston Martin V8. This is from the James Bond uh, film with Timothy Dalton, The Living Daylights. So it's a really cool looking uh, version of this Aston Martin and it's something different than the regular 65 Aston Martin. So a really fun release for that, of course, with the 007 card art. That's first in that pop culture line. Next, we've got the Mongoose Factory BMX Team Van. This is the 1977 Dodge Van. What's really cool about this one, uh, you might remember from another pop culture series, we did a Schwinn BMX Team Van. So this is another one that goes along with it has all these great mongoose graphics on the side of it. Of course, this is the van where they would throw the BMX bikes in the back, have the team in the van, drive it around. And for you guys who are Snake and Mongoose fans and have always maybe noticed that the Mongoose logo, very similar to the Tom Mongoose McEwen logo, and that is because the founder of Mongoose was friends with Tom McEwen. It is a direct reference to him. So cool tidbit about Mongoose BMX and a super fun release for that one. Next up in pop culture, we've been doing some fun stuff with our Godzilla license. This is a great release. The card art looks awesome. This is from the film Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. This version is using our uh, Land Cruiser, Toyota Land Cruiser casting in red, which appeared in the, in, the, uh, in the movie, the Godzilla movie. So great details on this, a stock version of that, and that card art really, really makes it look awesome. So speaking of Godzilla, this next one may not be a Godzilla car, but King Kong's got nothing on it. A 1979 Chevy Monte Carlo Lowrider in black as part of our Trivial Pursuit series. Really cool car for this. Uses our Lowrider, uh, Johnny Lightning Lowrider style wheels. Has a sunroof on it, gray interior, gloss black paint, California plates. Is a super fun, uh, cool release for that Monte Carlo casting, which uh, was released, I believe last year was, uh, was when we tooled this one up. So next up, using our United States Postal Service USPS license, we've got the 1970 Dodge Challenger RT. Here it is in purple, vinyl top on it. A lot of good painted details on this one as well. And this USPS series uh, replicates from 
their postage stamps. So we have a matching postage stamp trading card on the back there showing off the artwork that they used. Uh, we did another one in this, in this series as well. And another really fun release. Great looking car for that one. And then last, our Monopoly license has proven to be very popular in pop culture. This is our 1960 Studebaker with the camper. We've had a lot of people requesting to bring this back with the camper. So uh, with this release, we chose Waterworks and made it kind of a plumbing, uh, plumbing service vehicle. Of course, coming with the exclusive game token. And, and this one, we chose to paint it in the same blue color as the Johnny Lightning 164th. So of course, open that up. Use that token in your Monopoly set, and you got a really fun piece to go with that. Next up, we've got a new release for Johnny Lightning Military. So uh, with our military releases, there's six vehicles in this, two variations of each. This is the Korean War, or the Forgotten War, that we are doing for this one. So uh, for each, each one that we replicate, the A version and the B version are based on actual vehicles through various battles from the war. So the first... Uh, Version being the Sherman Tank here, Battle of the Bowling Alley. You can see the uh, the camo detailing on this. Of course, the star on the side of it. And then the second version is Operation Ripper. And there's some uh, different graphics on this. There's a tiger actually um, painted on the front of it. And again, these are historical graphics that we use for all of these releases. So it's really nice to bring out this military stuff. And do it do it accurately and do it uh, do it correct. So uh, next up is the Willis uh, military jeep. First one's got a frozen look to it. Version A, so we got the uh, the snow all over, blown all over the uh, that jeep. Really cool detailing on that one. It looks very realistic with the snow on it. The second version, tactical air control party, more of a dusty version here uh, with the cover. And super cool release there as well. Next up, the Dodge Ambulance. So first one here, Miracle of Christmas. Has that dusty kind of uh, almost like red dirt look on the bottom of it. So of course looks uh, looks used, looks fresh out of the fresh out of the battle. And the second, uh, the Mobile Army Surgical Hospital on the 38th parallel. So uh, a little different look for this version. Little light dust on that one uh, on that one also fourth in the re the release the GMC 6x6 truck did another snowy uh, variation for that one you can see here even got the snow on the uh, on the tires a little bit on the top on the edges of, uh, of where that uh, canvas top is and then the second version battle in the iron triangle this one's got more of a, a muddy look to it. Next up, for our airplanes, this is the North American F-51D Mustang. First version here. Of course, these are all based on real planes, so there's information about the planes, who flew them, and the battles that they were in, so you can see that first silver version here. You've even got uh, all that information on the diorama. And then the second version as well. Got green striping on it. And then lastly, we have the, F, uh, the F4U Corsair. So protecting Kusan for the first one. And what's cool about this one, uh, this is the first time we've actually done our Corsair with a four-bladed prop on the front of it. So updating it to... Uh, the style that they had during the Korean War. So you can see your first vari uh, variation there. Both in a blue color, maybe blue color. And there's that second variation, or B. Continuing with Johnny Lightning, we have uh, our release for Classic Gold. So again, six cars in this, two colors of each. Uh, the Classic Gold series usually does kind of a stock look, so we've got our FJ Cruiser. This is a newer casting for us. Um, only had a, a couple of releases, some exclusives, uh, and the Toe and Go that we've been working on. So first version here is in Titanium Silver, version A. This has opening hood with a detailed engine, rubber tires. 
and a lot of great detail on this one. This casting really came out good. Second variation, Black Diamond is the name of the color. It's kind of a skiing, snowboarding reference there in that color name. And then second for Classic Gold, we've got the return of our Chevy SSR casting. First version in blue here. The white striping on it. Of course, the SS style striping for the SSR truck. And the second version is in torch red. Again, with the white uh, racing stripes going along the top there. Third for Classic Gold. Sticking with the Chevys, the 81 Chevy Citation X11. First version here is in a metallic green, tan interior. Of course, the X11 graphics on the side of it. It has white letter tires, louvers on the back, and a lot of great painted details on that one as well. Second variation is in yellow. And has a dark tint to the windows on that one, which really looks great with the yellow. And again, white letter tires and those X11 graphics. One more Chevy truck for you guys, the 2002 Chevy Silverado. We've seen uh, these trucks really gaining a lot of popularity. So this release, first version is an orange for version A. We did black wheels on this with a polished uh, silver lip on them. White letter tires on these as well. It's got the black uh, kind of protective cover inside the bed or painted black uh, for that look. Orange color looks great on these trucks. And then the version B, we went with a black cherry. You saw a ton of these black cherry colored ones uh, driving around. You still see them out on the road. These things ran forever. Um, so of course had to do that color for version B. Next up in the release, our Dodge Viper SRT 2014 model here in the classic gold, first version in red. Again, this is a great looking casting, very realistic proportions on it. Got the vented hood headlights and taillight detailing looks great and then for the second version we went with silver there's tan interior in that one which really looks great with the silver kind of adds, adds a little bit of color into it and then lastly for classic gold here this is another really cool one the 1971 Pontiac Grand Prix I really love this casting it has such a great and a, a mid 70s style to this Grand Prix so first version is in brown here has a vinyl top, tan interior, again, super 70s looking, and white letter tires on that version A. Version B is in a blue-green, tan interior on that one with more of a white vinyl top on it, and white line tires uh, for that version. So that's all the Johnny Lightning releases, but also for 164 scale, we have a new release for Auto World that we're going to jump into. I know you guys have been... Uh, really excited about all the Auto World stuff that we've been working on. So this release, um, there's of course six cars in it, two colors of each, starting with our 1987 Mitsubishi Starion. So you guys may remember the first release that we did, the first regular release of this, it was done as the Dodge Conquest. This is the first time we've done the Mitsubishi version, the Starion version. First one here in black. Again, this casting really turned out great. Of course, all these Auto World uh, cars have opening hoods with detailed engines in, in them as well. So when you get yours, be sure to crack it open, open the hood, check out all the details. There's a, These castings really, really look great. And then you got your second variation here in a champagne color. And on this one, you can really see some of the differences between the Mitsubishi version and the Dodge version. Mitsubishi has that black uh, stripe that kind of wraps around the front there where that front grill is, whereas the, uh, the Dodge and the Chrysler versions were body colored and uh, some other, of course, badging and some other differences as well for those two sister cars. So uh, really fun release for that one. I love these Starions, really excited about those. This is one I know you guys are gonna love because these vans have been super popular. This is uh, was our new Dodge Caravan casting. This is the first release as the 85 Plymouth Voyager. So for this one, um, when we did the tooling, we tooled four different grills for it uh, to do both Dodge and Plymouth versions. So this is now the earlier Plymouth version here. For the first one in Dodge, we did the wood paneling. This one, we went with a different kind of color scheme. Uh, there's, it's kind of a pale um, pale beige color with a brown two-tone for that version A here. Of course, has the roof rack on the top, tan interior. Again, opening uh, an opening hood with this with a detailed engine. It's really cool. 
and the second version is in silver two-tone um, with a darker kind of gunmetal around the uh, around the windows and and on the bottom there another great looking version for the van so really excited to get more of these vans out to you guys they've been selling like crazy they've been doing super well um, third in the release for Auto World, we've got our Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Moab Edition. First version is in lime green here, and this actually utilizes a new hood that we uh, tooled to do this version. So you can see uh, the hood The hood has the vents in it here, or the uh, Power Dome style, I'm sorry, Power Dome style hood for this one. And uh, that, of course that green one with the black fenders really looks cool having the black wheels with that bright uh with that bright green color second version in orange again you can see the uh moab graphics on the side of it and kind of tinted uh tinted window look for that uh for those as well and fourth in auto world back with some more square body releases um the ever popular square body this is the 85 chevy silverado fleet side these ones are uh, lowered versions. So first one is in light blue with a silver two-tone, so silver top. Um, has a five-spoke wheel, uh, kind of a deep dish five-spoke wheel on it, which gives it a really aggressive look. Again, um, looks really cool. These lowered trucks really look awesome. And then the second variation is a black, black truck. Um, again, with the 85 lowered, and this has more of a stock wheel style on, on this version. Next up, fifth in the release for Auto World. This is the Oldsmobile 442, the 1966. Version A is in a silver, has a black vinyl top on it, tan interior. It's kind of a two tone uh, silver color, red line tires on that one. Again, a lot of great detailing. And then the second version here. It's in kind of an auburn color. Has a uh, matching burgundy interior, and you can see that silver, uh, that silver striping or silver trim along the side of that one as well. And then last for Auto World, we've got the return of our 1969 Pontiac Firebird. I really like this casting. Both my mom and my dad have both owned 69 Firebirds, so I love when this one, uh, when this release comes back out. First version here is in red. Again, just a wonderful casting, of course, with an opening hood on this, rubber tires, uh, metal chassis, true 164 scale, everything that you come to expect from Auto World. And version B may be even cooler in that green, dark green color with that tan uh, vinyl top, or beige vinyl top, rather, and uh, beige interior. And, of course, all the painted details and trim that you've come to expect in all these auto world cars so that's everything for 164 scale we had a lot this month next we're gonna jump jump in and show you guys the larger scale die cast so jumping into the larger scale die cast we're gonna start with the 118 scale cars for auto world so we're gonna we got four cars we're gonna show you guys for here starting off with the 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona here it is an x9 black so really really cool release for this one of course has the white Daytona striping on it um, of course, 69 being the only year for the Charger Daytona. With the white interior and the black paint, it actually looks really sophisticated, which is not something you would normally say about these big wing cars. Um, it is a really cool looking die cast. So, uh, of course, it has opening, uh, opening doors, opening hood with a detailed engine in this one and steerable front wheels. And there's that detailed chassis that you can see underneath. And a little that information on the back about this 69 Dodge Charger Daytona and this particular X9 black release here. So another great looking large scale die cast we're glad to bring out. Next up, the 1972 Plymouth Roadrunner GTX in Rally Red. So uh, what's unique about this release, this is actually the first time we've done a 1972. So uh, it has a newly tooled grill door skins, the side marker lights, and the rear bumper uh, was redone on this. Has the uh, tank tread style uh, white striping on the side of it there, the white interior, uh, detailed interior, the opening uh, doors, the opening hood. This one also has an opening trunk uh, on this model and these steerable front wheels, of course. And there's a look at that detailed chassis on that one as well. 
And then just a little more information on the back for that 72 Roadrunner GTX. So two great looking Mopars this month. Now we're gonna jump into the Corvettes, starting with our 1963 Chevy Corvette Z06, a muscle car and Corvette Nationals release. This one in ermine white, has red interior. And as I always mention, with our Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals releases, these are based on real cars at the show, replicated from real cars. This one was a 63, so of course a split window, Z06, and it was a tanker car with a 37-gallon fuel tank in it. Uh, looks, This replica uh, looks great. Opening doors and hood on this one as well. Of course, the detailed chassis also on this one. And you can see, uh, get some information on the back about this particular 63 split window. Owned by Al at Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. And then all those photos of it at the, uh, at the show. And one more split window for you guys. We also have this 63 Corvette Coupe. Here it is in blue. This one's got black interior. Uh, both 327s uh, under the hood. And the detailed chassis on that one as well. And the back of that package. So that's 118. We also have a release for 125th scale utilizing our Miller license. This is the 1951 GMC sedan delivery in Miller High Life livery. Of course, the two-tone gold. Got the champagne of beers slogan on the side. Got the girl on the moon, Miller girl on the moon. But it also comes with a Miller girl figure here. This is uh, based on a back bar advertisement piece that they did back in the day with that Miller girl. So we've got that uh, to be displayed along with it, with that 51 GMC delivery. These have been really fun to bring out. I'm a big High Life fan, so um, there's a, some information on the back also and a look at the back of that packaging. Oh, another great release here. And then we have in larger scale die cast for you guys, a couple more of our Schwinn Stingray bikes, so our stick shift bikes. These ones are Coca-Cola. So these were very popular. We put out a couple different variations, a lemon peeler. Um, so these are our Coke versions. First one in red here. And then the second variation in white with all kinds of cool uh, Coca-Cola graphics along the side on the seat, on the chain cover. So those are really, really cool. So that's what we have for the larger scale die cast. Next, we're gonna show you guys model kits. So for the model kits, we're gonna start with the all new tooling for you guys from AMT the 2021 Ford Bronco first edition. So this of course, completely uh, all new tooling from the ground up, utilizing, uh, starting with the 3D uh, CAD files straight from Ford. This is a great kit. It is a curbside style, but don't get it twisted. This thing has 114 parts in it, a really detailed chassis. It's got super detailed interior on it. The, cat, uh, the uh, cover comes off the top of it, or the roof comes off the top for the detailed interior. It's got custom bumpers in it, 35 inch uh, beadlock style wheels. There's a lot of really cool features on this 2021 Bronco. You can see some of it here on the packaging, a better look at that brush guard. Again, those beadlock style wheel, wheels, that detailed interior. And another look here on the side where you can see all the different uh, decals that come with it. Again, you can do the Sasquatch package, but there's all kinds of badging uh, and cool features that are on this kit. We are really excited to bring this out. It's really nice tooling that goes together super well. And you can even uh, see there on that parts tree all those different parts for putting this kit together. So we cannot wait to see you guys start building these up and getting these in. Now these will be, um, again, this is our production sample. so. It might be uh, June or early July or something for these, but the pre-order should be going up soon and we're really stoked to show them to you. So uh, moving on to some of the re-released kits that we got going on, the AMT 34 Ford Street Rod. Uh, this kit's coming back. Uh, it's really cool. There's super detailed parts in this kit. Now it's a 34 Ford, but done as a street rod version. It comes with 
There are uh, Mercury wheels that are on it, and it has a small block Ford engine. So this is made to be done up as a custom. Uh, there's an all, all new decal sheet in this. Of course, the retro packaging, that kind of silent box style, uh, really showcasing that artwork. And then you can see on the side there, some of those street rod features. So there's those Mercury chrome wheels with the wide tires. There's that engine there. And you can see the uh, a look at the grill. And then here's some of the features for the decal sheet. So you can do some cool flame jobs on it. And then there's that parts tree on the back of that one. So next up, speaking of cool customs, we've got this 1966 Ford Galaxy kit. And can you build this in a lot of ways? You bet your sweet bippy you can. This is a four-in-one kit. So this is called the Sweet Bippy. You can build it as a stock, a custom, a drag style, or kind of a stock car style on it. So it comes with pre-lettered drag uh, slicks, remastered decal sheet, vintage style packaging. Again, kind of a silent box look on the front here. So you can really see that artwork. And then you can see on the side, a couple different uh, variations for the wheels and tires that come with the kit. Again, racing steering wheel, bucket seat, 427 single overhead cam engine. And there's kind of a look at a stock version. There's more of a stock car version here. And then the parts tree on the back of that one as well. And uh, last for the car kits, we have the re-release for our Datsun 280ZX Turbo Kit. This kit, uh, it came out several years ago and then it was discontinued. There's been uh, some ask for us to bring this kit back, so we did a couple of cool things with this. We had all new box art done for this kit, so we um, actually had a full painting done, which was then scanned in and rebuilt, so this entire scene was painted by hand, just like in the uh, old days of AMT, and then used to create that box art. So it really, really looks cool. You guys might remember the first box art. It was a black uh, buildup of that 280ZX. I think this looks really awesome. So it's got the, uh, the tooling. Uh, it's all original tooling. We expanded the decal sheet with this as well, so you can do, there's some gold badges uh, that are included, so you can kind of do a couple um, a couple little variations or trim levels for this. And then, the, uh, of course, the vintage style packaging that we talked about. There's a look at some of the features on it, where you can see the optional chrome spoke wheels, Goodyear tires, highly detailed interior. It is a T-top car, so it has the separate pieces to take the T-tops apart. Look at the detail uh, decals on the side there, where you can see. Um, if you zoom in a little bit, you could probably see some of those gold uh, gold badging and stuff that was added to this kit. And then there's the look on the back. You can see a build up on there, showing off some of that chassis detail that's on this kit. And then uh, moving from on from automotive into the semi truck kits. We got this 125th scale Chevy Bison kit. So uh, our big rig kits, of course, a ton of parts on this, over 300 parts on this kit. Uh, a lot of them are chrome plated parts. Got 10 hollow vinyl truck tires in it, builds up to about 12 and a half inches long. Uh, there's a tilting hood on this kit, which is cool, fully detailed interior. We expanded the decal sheet on it and have that vintage style packaging. So these Chevy Bison trucks are very popular. You can see on the side here, there's a look at some more of those features like that tilting front end. You see some of that uh, interior. It's got a Detroit diesel V8 engine with it. And there's a look on the back at all 300 of those parts. So big, big kit should uh, should take up a lot of a lot of time. And then of course we got the cross cell on the side, but you can see like our Great Dane trailer. Some of the other stuff that you can. Um, you can build up and, and utilize with this kit if you want to match a trailer with it. And then, lastly for models, we have an uh, aviation kit for you guys, the, T the TBF-1 uh, Avenger kit. So the World, uh, World War II torpedo bomber. So there's some pretty cool stuff with this. Uh, of course, that vintage style box art on it is super cool. You can see uh, uh, some of the features on the side here. Uh, it's got sliding canopy windows, retractable tail hook, it comes with some crew members, uh, retractable landing gears, movable bomb bay doors, uh, large uh, water slide decal sheet so you can build a couple different variations of it. Um, this was a plane that was flown by George Bush Sr. in World War II, this style of plane. There was six of them that disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle. A lot of cool uh, history with this plane, a lot of cool different uh, ways that you could build it up. 
And then there's a little bit of uh, information about the TBF Avenger here. And a look at kind of those, uh, that sliding canopy, that opening doors, and some of those other, other features as well. So uh, that's everything that we've got for model kits. Next, we're going to round out the video and finish off with slot cars. So for the slot cars, we're going to jump in. We've got one release to show you guys and then some slot car accessories. Uh, for the release, it's an import heat release. There's uh, four cars in this release with two color variations of each. Starting with uh, all new tooling, our 1973 Datsun 240Z. And you might be saying, wait a minute, we already saw a Datsun 240Z. Well, this is actually the race car version of our tooling. So it's a different body uh, than the last release. It has the, the headlight covers on it. It's got uh, front bumpers deleted. It's kind of got a front air dam on it. There's a rear spoiler and then a rear bumper delete. So uh, this is more of, like I said, a, a racing style version. The version A here being uh, in red with white striping uh, on the top and the white striping down the side. Of course, the gumball lettering again has those uh, headlight covers uh, covered in silver uh, for this version with white letter tires on it and then the second version is this Nissan livery on the side has black wheels with red lip on the wheels white letter tires for that one as well and so of course really cool race graphics for this race version of the 73 240z so next up we actually have our other body for the 73 240z now this is the one that you guys may remember this is more of the stock body so it has those sunken in headlights on it uh, of course, the st uh, stock front and rear bumpers and doesn't have that rear spoiler. So for the first version, it's a pale yellow color. And it's got the 240Z striping along the bottom of it, white line tires, and again, more stock. So when we put out this uh, body before, we did this one as, as kind of a race livery style. These are now stock versions of 240Zs. And then the second version here is in silver. And again, uh, more of that stock look for this. Now, I actually have a silver 72 in my garage that looks a lot like this, so of course, gonna have to pick one of these up. And these have been really popular, uh, these new Zs in our slot car line, so we expect them to continue selling pretty well for this release. Then next up, we've got the next release for our 94 Toyota Supra. First version, more of a race car style here. Uh, has the Supra graphics on the side. A lot of different race sponsors on it black and red again very aggressive look has the big wing blacked out wheels and then the second version here a little more of a stock style does have that big racing spoiler on on it but it's in just a plain blue color of course all the painted details for the the taillights headlights uh, and then just chrome style wheels on that uh, for that mark IV supra and then lastly our 1995 mitsubishi eclipse returns first version here in silver and red <clears throat> has um, all the, the race lettering on the side and some Eclipse graphics on it. Again, done up in, in uh, more of a track car style. And then the second version in black. Again, with uh, racing letters on that one. And another really cool release for that uh, second gen Eclipse here. Then for uh, accessories for our slot cars, we've got new deluxe pit kits. So these pit kits come with an unpainted body and then everything you need to put a chassis together. First one being our Thunderjet Ultra G. Comes with a 62 Chevy Bel Air body, unpainted. So you can put it together, <clears throat> paint your own body up the way you want, build up your um, slot car the way you want. These deluxe pit kits have also been doing pretty well. Um, and then we have for the Thunderjet as well, our regular pit kit. So this is just to freshen up your chassis, um, but we did change over the Thunder Jets to metal guide pins. So now the Thunder Jet regular pit kit will come with the metal, uh, the metal guide pin instead of the previous plastic ones. So that's the update for that. Uh, deluxe pit kits continue with extraction. So this has that 73 Datsun 240Z body uh, in it. And this is the um, racing version. So it has the headlight covers on it, has the, the spoiler on it, all the pieces that I mentioned uh, for the release here. So you can build up your Datsun race car, paint it any way you want for that extraction. Uh, continuing with the four gear deluxe pit kit here, a 59 Cadillac ambulance body, even has the ambulance light on the top. And again, to be built up and customized in any way that you want. And then a Super 3 deluxe pit kit. So Super 3 is our most advanced uh, chassis 
for our HO scale slot cars. This one is a Chevy SS stock car body, 2015 Chevy SS. And um, so you can paint that up in, in any way you want and build up your, your Super 3 chassis. So that is everything that we have for this month. A ton of product that we had come in. So um, slot cars, model kits, die cast, and just tons and tons of really cool stuff that we're also working on. So stay tuned for these videos. As I always say, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook, check out round2corp.com. We always have new stuff, uh, new licenses to talk about, new tooling to talk about. And we'll see you next month. Thanks, guys.